Good day. Welcome to Martinez Design. This tutorial we are continuing with what we have done in the previous lesson. If you have not watched it, what the first lesson, try to click and watch our first lesson on this duplex design. In this particular project, what we are going to do is to create grid so that by the time we are putting the upper floor, we will know how the structural element. And what are the function of grid? Grid allow our engineers to understand the position of load bearing and every other axis cutting through the buildings. So, what we are going to do now is to create the building a uh, uh, grid. So, click on architecture, go to grid. So, start your grid line with one. Now, you can decide to use pick points, which I normally use. So your pick point will allow you to pick the middle, pick the middle again. But before you pick the middle, when you identify that this is one, okay, then you do the same thing here. Every part that you know that you have a wall as a foundation lay, you put your grid there. That will allow you to align most of your wall, and they will be in accurate position for all the design elements so that's how you put up the grid line there so what you need to do now is to start adjusting them one after the other so here you stretch this up you stretch it down and same time stretch this up you click on this you stretch it make sure you have your Side so that the stretch will not be too much for you. So you stretch it like that. Stretch this up and stretch this down as well before you later align there. So you can decide to change the toggle this aspect so that the head will come out. You can have the blue head in in grid line in rabbits. So now this one comes in accuracy accuracy so you do the same thing by toggle up toggle it on good so you do the same thing here extend it up down toggle it so now you want to create a horizontal bit so you click on it and say create similar at this point i just want to draw it instead of picking points here so I will change this one to alphabetical letter. So just call it A. Alright. So in capital letter, do this one. So what the next the next one you are going to do is not need to be labeling you labeling it again. So to identify that this is alphabet. That's how you create your grid in Revit. So please subscribe to our channel. We are going to it. So this is the pattern of creating grid in Revit. You can subscribe to our channel. At the same time, comments.